Six thirty start. Six thirty. Call the meeting to order. Uh, roll call the members. Frankie C. Yes. Jeannie. Yes. Excuse me. James Williams. Yes. Uh, Brandy B. Yes. And James Cox. Item number three. Flag salute. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item number four, vote to approve or not approve the agenda as printed. Vote to approve or not approve the minutes from the July 20th regular meeting and the minutes of August the 3rd, 2015 special meeting. Yeah, you just abstain. Yep. Sorry, you got a poll on, on a separate dates? Yeah, we'll have to poll on two different. Six, discussion with possible action on encumbrances and financial reports for the 2015-2016 school year. I 
Yeah, it was one for repairs, nine thousand dollars. I was hoping it was that one for sure. Yeah. But it didn't, it didn't that didn't mistake that one. Page five, it's got the J square building repair one with that. That was for the library. Yeah. Number seven. Stand up one to update the board on the building projects. This morning, do you have the floor? Thank you very much. Um, first of all, I've been on a stretch of title all day today, so I apologize for my outside aura of her. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just wanted to kind of visit real quick with you about the current status of the projects, and I'm going to kind of, I like to talk with my hands, so I'm going to use your map. Okay. Um, Today we have um, managed to uh, fully but surely move forward with the projects. We have, we do have the geotechnical reports now on the sites for both buildings, um, as well as land surveys. Um, we're also actually surveying a little bit more land than we originally anticipated because uh, in discussions and after receiving our original land surveys, we kind of realized that there might be a better location for the STEM building. So. Um, we came back uh, to the administration and to Mr. Noble and kind of proposed the idea of relocating that building across the street here. Basically, kind of encompass that existing parking lot, but um, that way we would then be able to economize some of that site work that this site was going to create um, once we did get that land survey that slopes more drastically than we even imagined just looking at it. So, uh, we think that's a good decision. We think it, you know, everybody felt pretty confident and positive about it uh, once we kind of talked it all through. So that's the direction we've been moving forward. Um, as of this time, we do have, as I mentioned, those uh, that information as well as cost, you know, our first draft cost estimates from Nav Holtz, who's your construction manager. So um, they're helping us, you know, kind of track the cost that they see it as of this time make sure we stay on budget with the construction projects. Um, currently we have um, laid out some project signs. So Nav Holtz is in the process of um, putting those together and they're going to have those on site on, for both buildings uh, prior to the 19th when you have your open house. So there will be signs with a, a rendering of the building and uh, you know, coming soon type kind of thing. I don't think there will be one for each uh, location. Um, also at this time, we have had a roofing manufacturer out to walk the roofs that we are going to be re-roofing. Um, they're actually going to be back this week as well to do some additional testing so that we know exactly how deep your existing systems are and what they're made out of. Um, we currently plan to issue the re-roof uh, projects middle of September. So the re-roofs portion of the, of the bond project should begin early October. Um, so those will happen first. 
Uh, we are also going to, in the middle of September, issue what we call dirt work packages, basically. So NAPOLS then can release uh, that set of documents to get bid pricing on the dirt work portion of the, the both buildings. And then we're also going to release what we call a, a foundation package, basically, which will encompass the reinforcing that will be in the original both foundations. And talking through that with Napolds and Mr. Noble, it's, you know, we feel like if we can release those two packages in September to get started in October, there won't be, sometimes in construction, you can get the building pad built pretty quick, which is the dirt work. And then you're kind of waiting on the steel reinforcing. And sometimes you know, there's kind of a gap there in time. So we're trying to, we're trying to shrink that time down by issuing these two packages early. And then the remainder of the building would issue uh, in October. So it'll give us kind of that, you know, hopefully four weeks to make, of made up time. Um, and so that was kind of proposed by Nabolts, and we you know, felt like that was a good idea for the project. So the roofs, uh, then again, will begin in October. They'll probably begin a little bit before the dirt work, just a few weeks. And then once the dirt work gets rolling in October, they should. You know, there may still be a little bit of a gap in time, but hopefully it will be uh, shortened drastically. So, uh, And then Navholtz is currently estimating construction time to be in the 12-month period So, for both buildings. <coughs> so that would mean that the buildings would be ready then in the fall of next year. And that's another thing that we've you know, kind of been trying to address with Mr. Noble is the, you know, the kind of that interim period there and coming up with a plan uh, to implement, you know, starting to think about it now so we're not rushing at the last second to try to figure out something, you know, a way to bridge that time from the start of school to when the buildings are ready next year. So, yeah, I know he's been working with principals and whatnot on that so that there's a plan in place early. Yeah. So that's kind of our rough draft schedule at this point. Otherwise, we've been in touch with administration and staff about the designs of the buildings. We do need to, now that school's getting ready to gear back up, we do need to get back with them, kind of go back over some of the details, storage storage requirements, IT, et cetera. But uh, otherwise, things are progressing. Questions? What do you think we'll have a uh, construction schedule? Um, they will provide us one to put in the bid package um, when we do the entire building portion. So, you know, right now they're just kind of saying 12 months. They're not really giving me, uh, um, you know, a, a defined foundation steel, you know. <laughs> but we will have it before we issue. So I'm going to say okay. September time frame. Right. Anybody else have any more questions? Appreciate it. Thank you very much. If you do have questions, please feel free to contact us. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Absolutely. Item number eight. Vote. To approve or not approve the student handbooks. This year is still the night, so if you have any questions on those, just don't here. Okay. What's changed since last year? Because I didn't take
peace of mind this year. I did a little research on a points-based discipline system to take guesswork out of discipline. And, uh, and if you're, I don't know if you're, from my perspective, is when you uh, discipline a student, and for, let's say, they skip first hour, and you discipline that student, and then you may go, you know, another six, seven weeks that that same incident occurring, you have to go back and look up what you did, and you want to be try to be as consistent as possible. Well, my new discipline system will bring that consistency to the point base and it tells parents, students exactly what happens, when it should happen, and as in, you know, it has a few things in there that <coughs> protects the school. Um, you know, it, it, there's a there's severity clause in there in case it's bad enough to, to have to have uh, a reasonable action on very, very bad behavior, but, you know, things that happen that you don't expect. But the point system will tell, uh, tell a student exactly where they have to go, and, all of, and also the parents, uh, and the actions attached to what level of points you're at. And there's actually a buyback, point buyback system for the students in which if they've been community service or social school, they can buy points back and do their own work. So there's a positive perspective. Is that part of the handbook? Yes, ma'am, it is. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm going and we're going to pilot it with the high school this year, and if uh, we work it out real well and, and tweak it, man, to, you know, some, some tweaking, uh, then I think Mr. Wine will adopt it next year. I don't know what Mr. Pierce's plan is. But Has anything changed with the current classes? The current? You know, man, uh, the students are still able to take their concurrent classes. Uh, their junior, senior year, of course, that's based on their ACT score. Um, right now, we're in the process of uh, you know, we're introducing an AP class back into the high school this year, AP English, and then next year we'll throw in AP U.S. History, and then we'll start working on getting those two to marry happy <coughs> in the system. <coughs> so, yes, our students still have access to current courses. <coughs> okay. 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 So on the high school handbook, what was sent doesn't have all that in there. It's just like your table of contents. There was two parts, and I bet, did you see the second part? There's one attachment. Aha, uh -huh, my attachment didn't go through. I apologize. I <coughs> should have been two attachments. One was the introduction, and the other was all the, all the meat to it. Um, if you want, here's a copy of the new discipline system, so I can make a copy of that real quick for you guys. And then we can have it, and then uh, I can. I don't know what, why the attachment didn't go through. I apologize. It's pretty much the same except that. Is Brennan here? Mr. Yes, sir, he is. Let me get it. Well, I, I just got one thing on here. It just says on the on the dress code, on the shoes, it says uh, proper footwear must be worn at all times. Shoes with cleats, roller roller shoes, house shoes, and shoes that were before not acceptable. I'd like to put in there no flip-flops. Okay. <laughs> yes, he has that. No okay. flip-flops. Okay. Yeah, because you don't tell them that, they'll wear them in the wintertime. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's a little bit of a problem. Yeah. Now I think Brad and I both address the new focus time program and ours as well, which is our uh, Intervention time and our intervention time. Good. This point travel day. I will say both of them that the students' grade drops are below 70%. But it doesn't mean 69.999, which is 70. It's 70 interventions we get for that student so they'll be successful. Or we can help them be more successful, is what I should say. It didn't change very much up the dates gotcha. and uh, lunch program and uh, kept the same discipline as what I had last year as far as this okay, so Scott said I wanted to see how that works out this year. <coughs> the only thing I'm gonna have to add is that I'm gonna
with this two hand book. Approve or not approve the deregulation of Alt Ed? I recommend that we approve or de deregulation of our Alt Ed program. It's a continuing our program like we've done in the past. Mm -hmm. Second. Second. Number 10, vote to approve or not approve the resignation letter of Mr. Keith Fuhrer, uh, dated July 28, 2015. Mr. Noble, Mr. Bryan, Mr. Wine, and the Henry of the Board of Education members. Please accept this letter as notification. I wish to resign my position as science teacher and baseball coach at Henry High School effective immediately. I have enjoyed the opportunity of teaching academics as well as athletic skills to many students throughout my 15 years with Henry of the Public Schools. I treasure the relationships that have been built with students, parents, teachers, and community members. Lifelong friendships have been formed, and I will carry with me uh, in my future endeavors. Thank you for allowing me the opportunity to grow in my career in the public schools and see what you feel. Number 11, vote to convene into executive session in accordance with 25 Oklahoma State Statute Section 307B1 to discuss the hiring of one or more candidates for each position. A, a STEM coordinator. B, one part-time bus driver. C, one full-time bus driver. D, Oklahoma history government teacher with extra duty of girls high school basketball coach, middle school girls slow pitch and fast pitch coach, and high school girls Slow pitch coach. Okay. E, assistant high, high school girls basketball coach, assistant high school ba baseball coach, middle school girls basketball coach. F, a temporary high school counselor. G, a high school color guard coordinator. Yes. 
James Owens. Yes. assistant high school girls basketball coach, assistant high school baseball coach, and middle school girls basketball coach. Recommend Chris Burns. Mr. Chris Burns has been recommended for this position. Uh, what does he teach? He'll be teaching uh, a sixth grade computer keyboarding class. Thank you, Mr. Wine. And the reason we're doing that is for those that, most of them that want to get into that STEM program, if they need a little bit of attention in the computer okay. area. Thank you, Mr. Wine. So moved. I'll second. Yes. 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 Item number F. Temporary high school counselor. I recommend Felicia McGowan. Ms. McGowan has been recommended for that position. I have a motion. So moved. I will second that. High School Color Guard Coordinator. I recommend Melanie Green. So moved. No. 
Yes, sir. Can you see? Yes. Jimmy? Yes. Trinity? Yes. James Williams? Yes. Item number 15, HESA -E report. HEA report? Um, just the negotiations are still ongoing. They're going well. We meet again this Thursday, I believe. I have to check my calendar. We hosted the new hire luncheon today, and several businesses gave us door prices to give away to our new teachers, and that went really well. So. How many new teachers do we have? We have 14. 14? Yeah. Oh, my God. yeah. So it's a good crowd. Most oh, most of them were able to attend today, and they enjoyed a catered one from Massey's. So that was a good, good day. Good. Yes. 14 new teachers. That's awesome. What uh, time do we meet on Thursday? Nine. Nine o'clock in the morning with the uh, HEA and then one o'clock with the HP and so Thank you. Item number 17, principal's report. Okay, um, we are looking at, uh, for all, all schools this week, Thursday and uh, Wednesday and Thursday, we'll have a uh, new teacher training where we'll hand out uh, faculty handbooks, give them basic information, and train them on how to use our computer systems for gradebook and everything like that. Um, I think our freshman enrollment clinic went very well. I think the kids really enjoyed it. Uh, we got some good input back from our team, from our parents and students. Uh, that, we'll, that I'll share with the faculty at our first faculty meeting. Um, and uh, right now we're just preparing, finishing up, uh, getting past our computer glitch on our enrollment for freshmen, and we'll be done with that this week and be able to dispense those and be ready to rock and roll. So. Uh, thank you, Mr. Bunn. You're welcome. Mr. Wine. Uh, same thing, we're just shoring up everything for the school year. Uh, I'd like to introduce Mr. Burns, if anybody does not know. We're excited to have you. And uh, or I just picked up a, a trailer full of textbooks the other day. I'll probably go back to the city to pick up some more. So we're just getting geared up for the year. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Ryan. It's my lawn care atmosphere here. Oh, they're OK. Uh, Superintendent's report. Um, like Ms. Bullard said, the negotiations will continue this week. We're doing negotiations on Thursday with the HEA and HESA, and um, our Chromebooks are here. Thank you. Yeah. Chromebooks are here. Chromebooks are here. Yeah, they'll have to do some things. The kids, yeah. But uh, they're here. So they're getting short after school starts. Okay. Uh, I'm number 19. Fox or Okay. That's all. Uh, number 20, board comments. I'm really just excited for the new year to start and to see all the STEM programs starting and see how kids like them with the Chromebooks up there, see how that's going to go. Yep. Very good. Uh, 21, new business. So we need to put it on the next agenda. That, we can't, we can't talk about it. It's not on the agenda, right? Yeah, we can't talk about it. It's not on our yeah, kids. So I have to put it on the next agenda. Item number 22, may I have a motion to adjourn? I make a motion. Second. Second. Yes. 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 Y
Yes. 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 Yes.